Azure Virtual Machines come in a variety of different sizes that are optimized for specific use cases. And the way Azure uh, groups these are into types. So that would be like general purpose, compute optimized, and sizes. Uh, and sizes is kind of a weird word because I've seen in other places in their documentation called series or SKU family. So you'll see me using those three terms interchangeably. They definitely confused me when I was looking at it at first. Um, but let's just go quickly through uh, some of them. There's a lot of them, so they're not gonna be all, uh, all of them on the list here, um, but we'll just quickly go through it. So the first is general purpose. These are balanced CPU to memory ratio, testing and development, small to medium databases, and low to medium traffic web servers. This is pretty much what you're gonna be using unless you uh, work for a company that has a lot of money. And the one you're gonna see the most is called B1 because it's super, super cost effective. Um, and that's the one I'm always using when I'm launching Linux machines. And you'll see me using it through um, follow alongs here in this course. The next one here is compute optimized. So that's high CPU uh, uh, to memory or ratio, good for medium traffic web servers, network appliances, batch processes, and app servers. So this just has more CPU here. Uh, the most common one is the FSV2 or the F series. Then you have memory optimized, so high memory to CPU ratio, great for relational databases, medium to high large caches and in-memory analytics. And we have a variety of SKUs there. Then you have storage optimized. So these are high disk throughput and IF and uh, ideal for big data, SQL, NoSQL databases, database warehousing and large transactional databases. And we just have LSV2 for those. Uh, then you have the specialized ones for GPU, for heavy graphic rendering, video editing, model training, and interferencing with deep learning. So available with single or multi multiple GPUs. And so we have a variety of SKUs there. And then you have your HPCs, your high performance compute. And these are the, the most fast and powerful CPU virtual machines with, uh, with optional high throughput network interfaces, all right? And I just wanna point out that there are more here. Um, but uh, I'm just showing you ones that are current. So there are previous series um, here, like we're not showing basic A, all right? Like the A series is not being shown here. Now, when you wanna actually go see this full list here, it's very easy. You just launch up a virtual machine and uh, you're gonna be able to choose two things. You're gonna choose the first the image. So that's gonna be, what do you wanna run, right? So it's gonna be Ubuntu or Windows machine. And then you're gonna choose your standard size image. I believe that if you choose certain images, not all sizes will be available to you uh, because some images have to be optimized for um, those uh, series. Sorry, I'm dr just drinking some tea here. Uh, and so there's that B1 series, and you can see in Canadian dollars, it's $9.72, which is a pretty good price for me. And you can explore all the costs in Azure, which is really nice. Uh, you don't have to go to a separate marketing website. You can just open it up, and you can just sort by the lowest cost, which is what I always do. Uh, and they have a lot of filters there. So there you go.